ex guy. He also works with us here at McCurdy's. He's a bouncer here at McCurdy's, and uh, we've known him for years. Uh, he's taken several classes with us. It's always fun to see him up here on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Jim Shea. Let him know, Jim Shea. All right, Sarasota, Sarasota. I'm born and raised right here in Sarasota, so I can say with confidence I know what it stands for. Severely ancient retired assholes slowing our traveling adventures. Damn, I had to say it's fucking true. It's true, it's true. And we can't forget about Venice, vacationing elderly needing immediate cardiac examinations. Well, I'm actually sort of fortunate, actually, to be here. I just got out of jail last week, and uh, sort of ashamed about what happened. I was actually stalking my ex-girlfriend, and, you know, I was in front of the judge, and said, Jim, uh, you got to tell me, is, you know, in your defense, why did you keep stalking her? I said, well, Your Honor, I'm a natural-born stalker. I said, well, how's that? I said, well, Your Honor, I was born in the middle of the celery fields. Come on, a couple more mugs, a couple more mugs, come on. Stock of salary if you didn't fucking get that. Stock of salary. Yeah. And I told the judge, I said, Your Honor, if I go to jail and they don't have cream cheese or peanut butter in there, I'm going to fucking hurt somebody. So I figure it's got to be pretty rough in jail, you know what I mean? I've never been in there before. So I wonder, under my alias, is uh, Jimmy fucking Sprinkles. <laughs> Jimmy Tough Guy fucking Sprinkles. Used to be known for, you know, sprinkling body parts out in the bay back in the day. Right? Right. Then after I spent a week in the clink, I came out as Jimmy Sprinkles. Holler, holler. I love a parade. It's awesome. It was great. Well, one thing I had fortunate when I came out is I got to be with my girlfriend again, and she is also a fellow stalker. And I found that the hard way. She tapped my phone, and then she disguised herself as my mailman. I was thinking, when did Bob grow a set of boobs like that? It's sort of crazy, you know what I mean? And she's a high-level stalker. You know, I've been doing it for years. So they call that a serial stalker. So I knew we were going to get along really well because I love fucking cereal. <laughs> That's also a keeper. Another moaner. I like that. Yeah, she's great. She's awesome and everything. And we get along real well, very much alike. First date we were on, she said, you know, Jim, I heard your mom's name was June. My mom's name is June. So it's, it's pretty wild. She said, also, we had the same type of dog as Shiba Inu. And I'm like going, That's crazy. I said, but wait a second, I gotta ask you something. You're a full figure gal, beautiful figure. Let me guess, 36 double Ds. She goes, yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? I said, well, I had the same thing. I have 36 double Ds too, that's so much alike. <laughs> yeah, you know, I used those actually when I was in jail too. But can you do this? This is what, to see if you can do that, the peck pop. That's what I used in jail. Worked really well, the guys really liked it a lot. And we're so together and everything, it's amazing is we decided to see what would our name be like if we sort of melded it together, you know what I mean? Her name is Laura, my name is Jim, so the first name, Jamara. Well, the whole thing came out to Jamara Wilry Shadell. When I was on the internet, I sort of found a loose translation of it in Swahili, and it stands for, you are pussy whipped. It's totally true. Well, people have been asking me a lot, you know, Jim, you guys did so good together and everything, and what about marriage? I said, you know, I really can't talk about it right now, you know, because it's summertime, it's hurricane season, and marriage and hurricanes have a lot in common. At first, there's a lot of blowing and sucking. <laughs> then you lose your house, the car, the kids, the dogs blowing down the driveway. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. And she said to me, Jim, you know what? Um, 
I got to tell you, you know, because we've had arguments in the past, and we go back and forth, and just a couple days ago, she told me, she says, honey, I just got to tell you something. You just always interrupt me when I'm talking. You just never take the dog out for a walk. You never take the trash out. You're just a fucking loser. And I reply back, you are exactly fucking right. <laughs> but I love my girl. She's an amazing girl. So let's raise our glasses in a toast to my beautiful Laura. Raise your glasses. Have a toast for her. Here's a toast to my Laura Divine. Hot as a firecracker and sweet as red wine. She's the only creature between heaven and hell can get the goods out of these nuts without cracking the shell. Jimmy Sprinkles out. Keep it going for all of our comics over here. A